Hi, welcome back on lesson 24 with the unlikely unreal and past conditions and of course we're going to be looking at the if clauses. So, zero conditional examples. We use the zero conditional to talk about a general condition or to describe something that usually happens. Example, we use the if, the subject, um, and of course, here's some exercises as well, but let's have a look at the example. If I go to the beach, I take a towel. I put, uh, next example, I put on my headphones if I use my phone on the bus. So zero condition is when we talk about a, a general something with something usually happens, okay? And here I have some exercises for you. So for example, Roscoe likes to fish. If Roscoe is bored, he fishes. Okay, so come through that exercise, please. Uh, and then we have the second conditional. We use the second, second conditional to talk about an unreal possibility. So for example, if aliens landed on Earth tomorrow, I would be very surprised. I wouldn't because we've been talking about aliens since oh, a long time ago and we've watched it in movies series so many things so i don't i wouldn't be surprised we're actually used to it right media just got us then so you wouldn't be surprised we'll be like yay aliens i've been expecting you for ages how you been and oh sorry i jumped straight out to the second condition i didn't see the first and so the zero condition general something that usually happens second conditional unreal possibility First condition is the real possibility. So for example, if you visit Miami, I will take you to dinner. I will love to. I will buy a red shirt if I don't find a blue one. So that's a real probability. And then the third uh, conditional is also a real possibility. Okay, unreal possibility. So it's very similar to the second conditional. Um, here's an example. Uh, I was so busy last week that I couldn't make it to my English class. I da -na 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 -na, use the word in brackets, love to attend if I blank again to be not so busy. If I wasn't so busy. So I would like for you here to uh, write in the blank uh, missing space, okay? the correct alternatives uh, for all of them. So for the zero conditional, uh, first conditional, second and third conditional. And in the bottom here, we have some examples for unreal, improbable um, conditionals as well. So for example, if I were you, I would or I should keep things quiet. So let's have a look. If I were you, I would keep things quiet. If I were you, I should keep things quiet. So it depends which one sounds more formal, okay? It's not that difficult, but of course it's a little bit confusing because of these little rules, real, unreal, um, probable situations on the if clauses. But of course it's there to help you and you have the boxes, you know, correctly put together so you have a better visual idea as well. Uh, okay, so next lesson, lesson 25, we're going to have a look at at I wish and if only. <laughs> That's quite fun. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye.